2023 season was actually the first season that I'd set a goal at the start of the year and um, about three, four weeks out from the World Championships, I didn't think I had a chance of achieving it because going off our um, time trial times in Italy beforehand, my times just weren't good enough. They weren't there. So I was thinking I'll get on the podium, but I'm not going to be able to win this week. There's still two blokes ahead of me. Um, and then we actually got to the World Championships and I beat every other person by half a second in the heat and in the semi while backing off. And I, that was when I was like, okay, this could actually happen. But through eight years worth of World Championships, I'd remembered that you can't get too ahead of yourself. Like you can't start thinking of the podium before you actually run the race. So I actually learned a lot at the World Championships this year. And in the sense that I essentially just tried to become a robot in the heat semi-final, tried to have everything run the exact same and just think about the exact same things, just make it just another day on the water out at training instead of building it up to be this big race. I just went, all right, 10 strokes, then look at the front of the boat, another 10 max, sit up and finish it. So that was a race plan that I'd been trying to figure out exactly what I was going to do in the races in those time trials in Italy, but just nothing was really working. And it wasn't until I actually did the heat of the world championships that I actually had a proven recipe that like that was how I was going to do it. Before that, <laughs> I kept um, trying to try different race strategies that um, I'd been trying since Tokyo to try to get that extra little bit off the start line where I started to think back to what I was pre-Tokyo when I was at my best and started implementing some of those things back again and that's what got me over the line really. At the start of this season we had a meeting with all my sports staff and the head coaches um, essentially about how we're going to progress through the next 12 months and one of the big things that came out of it was what now that I'm a world champion what's the mindset coming into this next 12 months. My answer to that was, I won by 0.1 of a second. That's nothing. So, and something that I've learned over the last two games is that everybody gains half a second in, a, in an Olympic year because everybody pushes for that extra little bit, knowing that you only have to hold it for one year and then you can have a bit of a break the year after. So I think really, I'm, like, I think I'd say I'm the favourite without getting too ahead of myself, but winning the World Championships and the test event at Paris weeks later. So winning the last two gold medals at international events. But it's really a mixed field at the moment because everybody, I think the top five are within half a second of me. So as I say, everybody gains that half a second. You've suddenly got five people who could come over me there.